Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the look mm -hmm. and you would like to have one of these lovely items, and there's a whole array. Did you go into the store I, to pick that up? No. You know, someone actually chose it for me. Oh, and oh, I got oh, oh, a special delivery. Yes, yes. And I, I, I don't own purple, so now I do. And so you look, mom. And you look dashing in that <laughs> purple. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, Ladies and gentlemen, I have to give props to Noa Noa because when you walk in the store, there's a color and a design that is likely to sing to you no matter what color you like and no matter what the design, but you just feel like, wow, look at this selection. And you would be hard pressed to find too many in your same color and design. Usually there's only one or two. If that, if at all. <laughs> like this, there was only this. Oh. And that print is only that print along with the shirt. So you won't go wrong. Check out Noa Noa Ward Center um, during their business hours and go pick up your either your, your shirt yes. or your outfit and look lovely to your next event. Mahalo anui ya no no. Yeah, again, thank you so much. I, lo I, I love the purple, I gotta, I gotta admit, I love the purple. Yes. I love the purple. And you know, my, my sister, she's always jealous when I come with my next outfit that's been <laughs> sponsored by no no. She goes, oh, that would look fabulous on me. And I said, oh, I didn't even wear it, not twice, and you trying to take it off of me. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> and I gotta admit, it, it's been, like you know like little over two years since we we did this so getting some new garments is yes, beautiful yes, yes, yes. <laughs> thank you but, so much but you know what you notice yeah do you notice what's different about my outfit what the outfit is the same because it's nice and loose and free flowing but i'm two sizes bigger now <laughs> Okay. Thanks to the COVID, <laughs> mahalo nui COVID. We, <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I think I think we all are, you know, Kubo. Yeah. I, yes. I even had yeah. to make my hair bun bigger because I got bigger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is my bun. You, you don't see this is a different bun. This is a different bun than <laughs> Kumuhina's bun from the two years before. My bun was smaller. <laughs> but I had to make it bigger. But my people would say, "Eh, so oh, Kumuhina, she really got she got pretty heavy, yeah." Like, yeah, I did, no. but I made everything bigger, so, you know, the flower got everything bigger, got proportion. the hair got proportion. bigger, yeah, we gotta be proportioned. <laughs> Just like COVID Momona. Oh, I love it. Also, um, you mentioned about an a event coming up that you're involved with at Bishop Museum. Yes. Can you, again, I had some folks ask me, oh. what's the details on that again? <laughs> okay, so ladies and gentlemen, along the... I the lines of why Konanui Nights exist. Because this is here to create access way, to create a doorway for you to connect with Hawaiian language, music, chant, dance. And the event that's taking place at the Bishop Museum is yet another doorway for you to learn more about the history, language, and culture of Hawaii. In this particular instance, it is through the story of Kapai Mahu. <clears throat> now the Kapai Mahu stones, the healer stones, are located in Waikiki and they are right next to the police station that is nearest to the Duke Kahanamoku statue. <clears throat> As a little kid, we used to go and, and um, boogie board and swim at Alamana Beach and when we would come up and dry off, I remember going to the stones, lying on the stones, and just looking up at the sky, like how everyone is doing right now. Everybody just stop. Try look. Look how lovely the sky is. What a perfect evening for us to be out here. Yes, yeah? yes. So I used to do this and I never gave any thought to the significance of the stones because nobody ever said anything about it. And only in my adult life did I really focus on what was the importance of those stones. And so we bring that story to you. The stones are actually a monument dedicated to four miraculous and amazing healers that come from the, our family lands in the south, from Kahiki. And they arrived bringing with them the healing knowledge that helped many people in those times here in Hawaii. Uh, 
The Bishop Museum exhibit will be running for six months. So if you can't make the opening, you got six months to come by and visit. You can go to bishopmuseum.org and check out uh, the, you know, the, the opportunities that you have to come and see not only that exhibit, but the rest of the museum. And then the film will also be making another showing. If you're not there for opening night, it will be shown the one hour documentary with historic footage, video footage, photographs about the stones and about the history of Hawaii. And that will be playing once again on PBS. So go to pbs.org and check out the date and time. I left my phone back over there, so I can't tell you the date and time. But go check it out, and I hope that you'll all be able to um, enjoy both the, the museum uh, exhibit as well as the film. And if you have young children, we do have a children's book available, and you can check that out as well on kapaimahu.org. K-A-P-A-E-M-A-H-U.org. Oh, excuse me, dot com, sorry. <laughs> dot com. The oh. bun, that's why. <laughs> Wait, look, 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 this flower. <laughs> Whose flower is, who's flower is this? Whose idea was this? <laughs> A little bit too big. <laughs> wow, I have friends that would want to wear it. I don't know if I could wear it because it might have just be umbrella. <laughs> you can wear anything, you know that. <laughs> Good night. If you all have a good time today, make some noise here. Okay, just a reminder for you, we have Matt in the bar. Go and get something ice cold to drink uh, while you're here enjoying enjoying Kononui Nights. Kumui Night, I believe they are ready, so. They're, they're ready. Okay, but wait, wait, wait. Yes. You know, did you folks eat yet? Eat. Did you eat? No. I ate a little while ago, but I'm hungry again. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I know, if we eat, we gotta lie down. Well, you know, I brought that up because Kona Nui Nights also is meant to foster the understanding of how Hawaiian people come together in this kind of environment. And so, you know, this is a, I believe that this is a one shot for a little while before we come back again. But on the next Kona Nui Nights, Feel free, bring food, bring something to drink, bring something to share with your fellow neighbors or your fellow MCs so that you can say, hey, kumuine, like try. I know, I was hoping somebody would bring me on Spam Musubi, but yeah, never, never like happened yet. Spam Musubi. Never happened What did people bring us the last time? People bring, oh, they said, oh, you like try crab, or you like raw fish, or they offer hot dog. I don't know, people have brought some wonderful stuff. Yes, they have. But nobody came up yet with anything. Like, you see, they're all kind of sitting over there like, oh, please don't look at us because we didn't bring anything to share with you tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, perhaps it's time to bring our next uh, most amazing act performance this evening by the way take it away all right so if you folks are ready give them intro in an introduction they both deserve they are two of hawaii's finest people uh, right here this gentleman first recently named doctor he got his doctorate so we gotta point that out he's one of hawaii's finest musicians entertainers he is an instructor and he helps to continue to perpetuate the music, the language, the culture out at uh, Winter Community College and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, please a big round of applause for Kamuela Kimokeo right there. And we're gonna step to the side. And then the legend. Yes, as Kumuhina said, the legend. He is here with us to uh, <laughs> perform for you tonight. One of Hawaii's finest treasures. And when I say treasures, he is one of the best. I love this man to death. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a warm aloha to Jerry Santos. Pai pai lima kako. Mahalo, mahalo. All it really means is you old and you've stuck around for a long time. <laughs> I remember when this was open space. Still kind of open. 
we share every time we get a chance to play music. You know, it's nice to be here. We thank them for inviting us to Konanui Nights. Yeah. Because like so many of you, all we've been doing is staying home. Well, I've been staying home. Kamuela teaches in the daytime at Windward Community College. That's how we got the PhD next to his name, yeah? No. <laughs> My generation, I don't know. We, we didn't take time enough to finish. I got the P. <laughs> I'm still looking for the H. No, I heard you, I heard that you get PhD too. Bobby Madero told me he said Portuguese helping doctors. Oh, Thank you. As my mother would say, that's your father's fault. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Kamala and I are come from the windward side of the island. We are products of Koolapoko, uh, Kahalu specifically, but everybody from the windward side knows that if you're from that side, Kaneohe is the center of our life. I lived on Haiku Road. Till I was nine years old, and where Kamuela teaches at the university these days is where we used to go to play. My mother would say, just go outside and play, those people not coming out. Yeah, be careful. Kaneohe, where the ua and the pua is the sweetest, you've already seen that today. And we will debate that till the cows come. Ay kaneo Minapali Oh, 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 oh,
songs that connect us to the places that we love. As the face of our island home changes, the music helps us to remember. There are songs that remind us of place names, who lived in those places, life stories, love stories. Sometimes as we are growing up, we lose. We don't quite see that in the mirage that's there on the horizon. Many island children wonder what's on the other side of the ocean. I was no stranger to that thought after making music in Waikiki and nightclubs from the time I was in high school. I started wondering what was on the other side of the ocean. So with guitar in hand, I found myself having some adventures. I was away from home a little over a year, making some new friends. On the night this song was written, I had caught the four buses, walked up the four hills, the four flights of stairs, only to find out the heater in the apartment wasn't working my little apartment there in San Francisco. And the voice in my head started saying, an island boy belongs on an island. Well, I sat down and wrote this, kind of like a letter to my sister, my Hanai sister, Donna Chong. We had grown up together. Donna taught me to play the guitar. And we played all through high school days and our early days. And she chose to make her life close to home with the music while Jerry was out in the world having adventures. But I come from a large family, six sisters, two brothers, not to mention the second family. So there's lots of stories for us to connect our generations to. So it was really not a hard decision to jump on the plane the next day, come back home to make music. Knowing that the world is out there, there's many times we can travel and have adventures. But staying close to the heart sometimes gives you the best support. So this song really is about change. The way people change, the way places change, how we put those things together in our lives. Oh yes, there's wonderful adventures and new friends to be made. But there's something very comforting about loving and understanding the foundation that you stand on. We all have these places.
But I fear it won't be like I left you Que amo a tu meu caro. I remember days when we were wise. When our world was small enough for dreams, and you have lingered there, my sister. Last night I dreamt I was returning And my heart called out to you But I fear I am not as I left Que amo a meu caro Found the reason for staying 
from the beauty sing. This is my, my own Because here there are rainbows and be morning showers People are laughing and they love their hearts The young and the old man, oh, we are brothers So I say You know, the idea of home is important to this area, Kononui, as the face of the land changes a great deal, I know. Some of you are my generation, some of you perhaps even the ones before me. Most of you are the ones who came after. So memories form as we go along. And it's really important that there was this open space left here, you know, because there are as many people, even Makono Kaina you know, just as much a part of the land itself and those who are here with us, present and not present, to remember that this was a place that was dearly loved as a home. About where the New Blaisdell Center is was a home called Old Plantation. It is the home of Victoria Ward. Victoria Ward was a part Hawaiian woman who came of age at a time when the Hawaiian monarchy was still a present. Many of the Ali'i were her friends. She married a man from Kentucky and from Thomas Square all the way down here to the ocean. Uh, they increased their land until they owned the whole thing. And it is said that, you know, maybe we're standing where there was pasture for the horses. Uh, they love their home, about where the NBC is too. You see the water over there. There was a clear spring on the property and it's said that Queen Emma loved that water because it was so fresh that she would stop there to refresh herself. Lili Mokalani was a visitor of their home. So the face of the land may change, but the spirit is all there. And it's important to share the stories from one generation to the next. You know, Waikiki, when we were, when I was a kid, it was like going to Disneyland, or having a visit to Las Vegas. We had one auntie who worked for a tour company and she was going to drive to town. We would bribe her with our quarters. Please take us, we like to see what's over there. <laughs> Certainly Waikiki has changed a great deal over the years. But again, we look to the music for connections. This song takes us back to turn of the century. Um, before the Alawai Canal took all of the wetlands out of Waikiki, Kapiolani Park was established in 1887. And at the time it was designed, it was designed to incorporate those natural waterways. And a little island stood about where the Honolulu Zoo is today. It was called Maki Island, named after Captain John Maki, who was the first president of Kapiolani Park Association. I don't know why all of this stuff is living in my head. It, is. it has to come up. James E. E., family of scholars and musicians and other practitioners, uh, would watch couples get into rowboats, go across the water, disappear into the evening and wonder what they're doing over there. But the real story lies between the lines. He says, Hu e kamana'o, which means let your thoughts fly. Your imagination will guide you to what you need to know. And of course, the hula helps to take us the rest of the way there. And we are very happy this evening. They paired us up with a hula halau from Kane Ohe because these are people that we've I've watched grow up and I'm very glad that they are here with us this evening. And I said, Keola, baby, you guys can dance something with us. And she said, sure, uncle. And they chose this song uh, as one of them. A song again from James E. E. that takes us to turn of the century Waikiki in a place called Maki Island, or Maki's Island. <laughs>
So we're going to do this song that takes us just up the road from Maki Ailana. And uh, this song is called Le Ahi. And it's a song that was written by one of our composers, great composers, Auntie Mary Pula'a Robbins. And uh, Auntie Mary Pula'a Robbins' husband was the keeper of the lighthouse there at Diamond Head, uh, at Le Ahi. In Hawaiian society, like Uncle Jerry mentioned, one of the great gifts that we could give someone was the gift of a song. By giving them a song, you preserve the moment, a story. It was like our, our, our music is really our history books, it's our journals, and our diaries. It has the personal stuff, the happenings of the time, as well as the history of the time. 
The unfortunate thing is uh, this song written for him uh, is not a love song. It's a scolding song. It's a song that lets him know perhaps that she's aware of the extracurricular activities that are taking place at the lighthouse. And the Auntie Mary Pula Robbins very cleverly uses the metaphor of his job to let him know. In the second verse, he says, Malamo oi kapoi pele. You should have been more careful around the buoy with the bell. The buoy with the bell is the buoy that makes noise, tells too many people what they were doing the previous evening. In our day, the buoy with the bell would be that one friend who posts too much on social media about their personal life. And we all know one or two of those. She says, because you weren't careful around the buoy with the bell, you and I, honey, are headed for the reef. Our times are ahead. She says in the next verse, which means this buoy is Kaulana, it's a famous buoy, it has a reputation. This buoy is known to entice one out into the open ocean where no good water, no good uh, things can happen out there. In case he wasn't getting it, she gets a little clearer in her next verse. I notice you're paying a lot, uh, awful lot of attention. And, uh, taking time to greet all the young and beautiful girls, perhaps implying, how do you know all these young girls when we are out on Tatao? And in just in case, in the last line uh, of the song, it's my favorite, it says, Goodbye, Kawe Ke Aloha. Goodbye, Kawe Ke Aloha can translate to something nice. It can mean goodbye for us, my love. However, the listener is left to wonder why Auntie Mary Pula or Robin selected one English word for her otherwise completely Hawaiian song. In Hawaiian language and Hawaiian poetry, you know, the appropriate words for that in Hawaiian would have been aloha, ahui ho. Those words carry with them meanings of affection and endearment and wanting to be around that person more. And perhaps at this moment in time, that wasn't the case. So she found the word in the English language that was more terminal and that word was goodbye. So this line, goodbye, kawe, ke aloha, and this uh, song probably more properly translates to something along the lines of don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> So if anyone ever tells you, hey, goodbye, go away, ke aloha, it's not a compliment. <laughs> Anyways, this is a scolding song of Auntie Mary Pula A. Robbins. Just so you know, fast forward, Auntie Mary Pula A. Robbins and her husband made it all the way through. So this was just a cautionary tale, but unfortunately, once you record and write a song, it's there. So the journal is there and we can sing them. This 
the verse she says, how do you know all these young, beautiful girls? I like to imagine that's just how she sang it. Barking at you. That's right on cue. Yeah, right at the applause. Thank you. You know, the halal that's with us this evening, the Kumuhula, uh, I've known since she was small. And she danced with me at the Hilton Hawaiian Village where I had a show for a number of months when she was younger. So watching her grow up and teach all of the keiki to dance is it's a very special thing for Uncle Jerry. So I told her, honey, the halau is nice to have, but you're going to dance for me tonight? She said, no. <laughs> but only for a brief second. And then of course she smiled, that lovely smile, and said she would come. So, I hear oi e ke you know, we are part of a, a much bigger ohana connected there in the town of Kaneohe. Amongst the ohana is Kawai Kapu Kalanihiwe. And this I chose because I think this was one of the very first songs we shared together. It was probably the first song I shared with Frank when he came to be part of our show as well. But in this melee, it talks about well, the rejuvenation of life. That cycle of the rain that brings life to the land and we can see as climate change happens all over the world how important it is to take care of things. In this song, the composer compares the raindrops falling to the petals of a lehua blossom falling from high above, dancing on the waters of the ocean and through that cycle of the rain bringing new life to the land. Kawai lehua pa'alaka. As the rain comes down, it's like the scattering of lame woman from high fall upon the ocean. They may go with the waters of the sea and dance so playfully amidst the waves. And it is a familiar thing, this mingling of the waters of the rain and the waters of the ocean. 
because then once again it returns to the heavens with love. And so this is a song of appreciation for the heavens and that rain, that rain that brings life to the land. Most of you probably know Keola and know that her mama, Miss Aloha Diliri, was not only a wonderful kumuhula and a teacher, but a fun person to hang out with. The very first Miss Aloha Hula at the Marimana Kula Festivals. And there are three daughters in the family. Keola is the youngest. All of the three daughters became Miss Aloha Hula in their own time. So this is a family filled with a great deal of legacy. And within the ranks of the family, um, I always enjoyed being with Aloha because our birthdays were two days apart. Hers is June 21st, mine's the 23rd. So we would get together on the 22nd to have a little cheering. I still cheer to her every day. But amongst the mentors for Aloha and for me and for Kawai Kapu and the generations that follow was a woman who had a tremendous spirit. You know, when we think about the lei as a very precious metaphor in Hawaiian culture, we know that when we make a lei for somebody, we're not just sowing flowers. We're attaching our best intentions, our love, appreciation, care, consideration, all of the good things so that when you wear the lei, hopefully all of those things transfer. Well, Auntie Emma de Vries reminded us that long after the physical elements are power, long after the flowers fade, the intention that went into the making of the lane, the intention that went into the making of the relationship continues because that is the love of the spirit. That is the kind that we count on, we recognize, and call on always. And so we share this one more time with Keola and the ladies of Keola Laulani Halaula Paolaka. The words of our very dear Emma, Kaladi Kawi Kiana Niam Kili Walani Nuya Mama Uho Opi Iva Hine Kia Kalei Hili Na Kapu Anuke O Kalani Ake Ni Fris Ni Kusu Ni Kusu Ile
these words of love say that you are as a flower lane's beauty will never fade and throughout all of life even eternity I know in my heart you will always be with us so we find ourselves waiting here waiting for you and all the divine energies that surround us to come and make sure this love that's been shared always remains together I hope she didn't climb on the ladder. No ladders are involved. Pe people at a certain age should not climb on ladders. Hey, hey, hey. What time is it? Well, I almost feel conspicuous with this uh, bar bracelet. I came around the corner of the... First of all, I'd like to say a big mahalo to Alan Yamamoto and to our wonderful hosts this evening and the sound people and the light people. How about a nice hand for everybody? Because it's nice that they do all the work and let us come and enjoy ourselves. They even invited me into the tent to say hello and they gave me a band, but nothing came with it. Not me, they ID'd me and I didn't have my wallet Hi, so they wouldn't let me in. I love it. She's gonna take over the show. I don't know why we're playing this, but it just feels right. Chocolat Choco Chocolat You don't have to be afraid
the big old moon is gonna shine like a spoon and we're gonna let it you won't regret it keep your shoes on and we'll feel bring that bottle right home with us again sometime, okay? And if you didn't, don't tell nobody what you did tonight. <laughs> we want to thank the folks who make it possible for our Kononui nights, both present and omnipresent, for the beautiful evening and a chance to share with all of you. And for our lovely hostess and host, we say mahalo. You took my hand and pulled me close Never let me go Hey, oh, oh, hey, oh Makapuri, baby Makapuri, baby Pili mawa The sweet kolanui nai Stars were twinkling 
nothing about us This night I found your love The rolling sea sang sweet harmony To the gentle breeze above Hey, oh Fractured his arm about three weeks ago. Two. Tonight is the first time he's able to play the guitar again. I feel the love within your heart beating so close to mine. This memory will be with me until the end of time. Hey, I Mahalo, mahalo. Ladies and gentlemen, continue to put your hands together for none other than 
the legendary Jerry Santos and Camuela Timoteo. Woo! Bona Nui, nice! Hi. Beautiful. Uh, we have one request for those of you that's uh, been uh, taking pictures and videos. Okay, if, no, run away. If you can, we'd love for you to uh, tag at Ward Village and they'll find out when our next Kononui Nights will be. Be sure to follow them on social media, Ward at Ward Village. Yes, and before we do what is customary, mm -hmm. especially to have esteemed musicians with us, we must honor this tradition. But before we do, once again, mahalo to Noah Noah for our lovely clothing yes. again tonight. Most appreciation, not only to them, but to all of you for coming to be a part of this audience and to, for being here on our first evening back to Kona Nui Nights. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have the distinct privilege of saying Hana Ho. Please, everybody, repeat after me. Eho Pili Mai. Hana Ho. All right. Okay, so for those of you who are not familiar, I know most majority of this audience, you know what that is, but for those who might not know, Hanaho means to do something again or to repeat it. And in Hawaiian custom, it is always customary when somebody is singing or dancing and you have appreciated the, the, the artistry and the magic that they've brought to the stage, then we call out Hanaho! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pai Pai Lima Kako, Jerry Santos. Kamuela Kimokeo. It's nice that you want to hear some more. The three of you that sent up the note. Mahalo. Well, we are, we are going to play a song for the Kupuna. All of them, the present ones and the omnipresent ones. Because this place has a lot of money. You just have to look around to see it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Evening, smiles on the edges. And on what we share today. And still I am recalling all the things we do not say. But in my heart, I recognize the light in the lady's eyes. These eyes have watched time and seasons turning into day. These eyes hold a secret song. Another way. These are all the red of Feel the eye, and I hear it's calling. Teaching the children as they call away. But how could I possibly describe? Light in the name says Sitting there beside me You then magic to my soul And though your lips are silent In my heart, I recognize the strength we get from the ladies' eyes. It's in my heart, I recognize. Yeah. 
sons and daughters of these islands, are you listening to the voices of our people? From the swirling winds high on ancient Bali, in can you hear the voices on the wind above the ocean Carried from the whispering surf of timeless seas Chanting melody sacred to our native Aina To the pride our nation once did see The voices of Akupuna. May the rising winds touch you in Akupuna. Be one with them throughout this land we love. In a be one with them through all this land we love. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Kamuela Kimokeo and Jerry Santos. And how about a big round of applause for Kumuhina, everybody? Mahalo, beautiful. One more time, a big round of applause. Please show them your love. Kamuela Kimokeo and Jerry Santos. I thought that's what you guys was doing. That's why we're not going away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, to close out this evening and to remind us of the love and affection that we have for our land, our home, and the legacy of our Hawaiian people and all those who come to join us to be here in Hawaii. Please stand and let us sing Hawaii Aloha. Mahalo Anui, Ya Kamuela Kimokeo, Mahalo Anui, Ya Jerry Santos, Mahalo Anui, Ya Kumuhula, Kiola Deliri, Kanahalao, Kiola Laulani, Ola Paola, Mahalo Anui, Ya Okoa Paoloa, Noko Oko Kipa Anamai. Brother Wade, please thank again, thank you for joining us here at Kono Nui Nights. You had a good time tonight. Make some noise! Please drive home safely. We bid you a font. Aloha. Mahalo. Ahui ho! Ahui ho, pe!